I'm Jeff Stroud, President of Private Quarters, and this is a DSA Centennial Moment. In the midst of the Great Depression, even though banks and businesses were failing every day, a Fuller Brush man was so inspired by the potential of door-to-door -door sales that he started his own company. At the very same time, another Fuller Brush man was so frustrated by the inefficiencies of selling door-to-door -door that he left the company. A few years later, he joined his former colleague and immediately started putting up sensational sales numbers, numbers that seemed impossible for one person to achieve going door to door. As the owner and former Fuller Brush man soon learned, his new salesman had developed a surprising variation on the traditional approach. No longer content to go door to door, cold selling one housewife at a time, he began offering a complimentary gift to any woman who would host a party for invited guests and allow him to make a sales pitch. Now, by knocking on one door and making just one presentation, he could reach a room full of prospects and make multiple sales, a technique that dramatically increased his productivity and ultimately transformed the fledgling company. With this clever variation on door-to-door -door selling, the former Fuller Brush men created a corporate giant and revolutionized the direct selling industry. The young company whose sales were boosted so dramatically was Stanley Home Products, founded by industry legend and former Fuller Brush man, Frank Stanley Beveridge. And the innovative young salesman was Norman Squires, father of the home party plan an approach to direct sales that he later helped to spread and popularize as head of the hostess division at Tupperware. From optimism and frustration during a time of economic depression and despair, the predominant direct selling model was born. I'm Jeff Stroud, president of Private Quarters, and this has been a DSA Centennial Moment.